Hey everybody, welcome back to the Electric Supercar Channel. Last week we had our epic first drive. So if you missed that, uh, please check it out. So this week we're gonna see if we can uh, fix everything that went wrong and see if we can go out for another drive and go from there. All right, what a good looking car. Um, after everything was done, I uh, did find a few issues. And uh, anyway, because of those issues, we actually ended up rolling it up on here. So the first issue is found that the contactors had been welded shut. So the condition where we were in the boot cycle, um, when I thought I fixed it, I think what I did is I ended up welding them shut. So it got out of that cycle because they were already closed. Um, with that being said, I don't feel comfortable anyways running things again. So gotta fix that and just gotta uh, figure out what's going on. All right, here we are after the first drive. Um, went ahead and took the seats out. Uh, I was getting some air codes on the Tesla controller and kind of traced the problem back to the contactors um, for both positive and negative or welded shut. So anyway, uh, I've, I've taken those contactors out. I'm just gonna take a look at them. That's kind of more, again, never want a problem, but if you have to have a problem, I. I don't mind it if it's completely broken because then I don't feel bad about digging in and breaking it more. So I'm going to go ahead and take those apart and see if there's any chance of reworking or if we just get some new ones. All right, I uh, got a fault code as well, so I'll ask EV Controls what that is. All right, so I was able to pry the top off. Um, this whole unit now seems to be stuck down there, so I don't know if it's bonded. I'll try and just give it a good tug. Um, after that, I'll just kind of cut the housing off. All right, um, I was able to get this one to uh, free up. So uh, again, initially tested continuity between there and it would uh, it'd be a connected loop. Now I test it and it's uh, open loop and when I connect it to my 12, po 12 volts power supply, um, it latches. So I think I've got this one repaired. I'm going to go see if I can do the same thing to the other one. All right, so um, I got the contactors fixed, mounted, plugged everything back in, and the controller is doing the same thing where it goes in that boot cycle. It will never boot up. So um, the theory is the reason why we're able to drive is those contactors got welded shut. And so um, I guess the the issue here somewhere along the line is that uh, it, I don't know if it's when it's closing or what, if a spark or, anyway, somehow that's feeding back through and kind of shutting things off and so it won't ever open. But if they were already closed, I guess that doesn't happen. Uh, anyways, having closed contactors is not good, but we're able to drive, now we're not able to drive. So uh, I'm in contact with EV controls. I really don't know what to do next. So we're gonna move on to some other things. All right, I think I've got the uh, suspension sorted out so that we've got kind of even gap front to back as far as the right height goes. Um, yeah, so we'll keep working on a few other things, but um, we're, we're good all the way across. I was also able to uh, get the parking brake, uh, parking brakes to work again. So they've also given me a uh, instructions on how to make a cable that you can connect to 12 volt power just to kind of open or close it what kind of I guess I'll call it force open or force close it um, so for whatever reason I run into this again I can just uh, unhook the cable plug in the other cable with 12 volts and have it open so uh, I think that'll be good there I tried a different relay and got the same result so now I'm going into the uh, wires that, uh, that activate the contactors. So 
we'll go into those wires, uh, make sure we've got good grounds, make sure that the, the other thing I probably need to do is just to trace the wires all the way back to here and make sure they've got continuity, that they're the right wires plugged in the right places, and we'll go from there. All right, um, I've been trying to do some troubleshooting. This time it actually opened up the contactors, seemed like everything was fine, but it's stalled out on this screen now. Um, again, nothing, I didn't change anything, I'm just trying to recognize patterns and see what I feel like is causing the issue, but yeah, I don't know. So again, this time it booted up and nothing. So I'm gonna record the whole thing here. So go ahead and shut it off. Turn it on. So it clicks, clicks. So again, I feel like the contactors are now working, but this guy is showing blanks. Okay, going again. Hmm. All right, so I've tried everything. I've even uh, got the three cables shielded here, and um, I think that's pin M, G, and H. So again, no feedback. I don't think should be going through there. And yeah, uh, it's just not that difficult of a circuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unplug that and do pinouts, make sure everything still looks good. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of a loss. I think I'm making it worse. All right, after a long day of troubleshooting, I think I got it figured out. Um, so I've got two battery packs. Uh, one pack is kind of wired and ready to go. The other one is we're kind of waiting on two battery modules to figure out what's going on with the BMS. So with that, I had the negative of the battery pack two that was not, so that was not uh, part of anything, but it was still connected. Um, the negative was connected to the other negative. Anyway, that, as soon as I disconnected that, all the problems seemed to go away. So I don't know exactly what's going on, but uh, disconnecting that, we're all good now.
So I don't want to touch this, right? Mm -hmm. It's like you don't want to touch your own car battery. Voltage 137. Oh. What's that? I know how to get it undone. Um, if somebody was wondering, I did not change out the differential or anything and it puts down power very evenly. All right, so we were able to get that second drive done. Um, it did go into limp mode, so not exactly sure what, uh, what went on, but we'll, we'll contact EV Controls and see if we can figure out uh, what happened. Also, you probably saw that we we're struggling again with the um, electronic parking brake. 
So that company's offered to uh, look it over and make any repairs and send it back. So we'll do that and hopefully there was some uh, glitch in the board or something and that we've got a good product. All right, everybody, that does it for this week. See you next week.